has begun, Matthew. There's nothing we can do but fight. If by now you haven't finished Daredevil Season 2 in one eye-burning run over the weekend, then stop watching now. These Easter eggs will contain spoilers. These are the best or the most interesting references in Daredevil's second season. Everything from teasers for the future and other shows to interesting nods to the original comic worlds of both Matt Murdock's Daredevil and the Punisher Frank Castle. Members only pork chop. The Dogs of Hell first appeared in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. helping out the Asgardian Lorelei. When Matt Murdock breaks into the Punisher's hideout, one of the crates is labelled 007. Shit, it's not in the system, it's the actual DA. That's Reyes. And all our defense attorney destroying glory. DA Samantha Reyes previously appeared in Jessica Jones alongside the lawyer Jerry Hogarth. In the comics, the Punisher had rescued a fighting dog called Max, who he eventually put down after he was wounded, but public outcry retconned him back to life. Our intelligence people are close to completing a profile. A profile? Even got a code name. Like what? Killdozer or dumbass with a gun? When a code name for the Punisher is mentioned, Foggy jokes about being Killdozer, which is actually a minor 90s Marvel character who fought the Falcon as part of the Iron Trinity. Either way, you're a killer. Two. What kind of choice is that? The kind I make every time I pull the trigger. Episode 3 sees Daredevil chained to a chimney with a gun taped to his hand. The setup is almost entirely lifted, including the dialogue from Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon's 2001 Punisher comic, The Choice. Who the hell are you? Frank? What are you doing up here, Frank? The old man that comes to check on Frank Castle when he's on the roof actually has the Punisher's original origin story as a former Marine who served in Vietnam. Oh, I'm not taking any chances, but I'm gonna take this out. Huh? Gotta stay strong for Betsy. In the comics, Melvin Potter is the alter ego of a semi-villain called the Gladiator. When he shows Daredevil the armor he's wearing, it's bearing the Gladiator's logo. <sighs> We've already seen the legs of the Stiltman armor in season one, but in season two, there's now a torso as well. Your family? Yeah. Who cares? In the Daredevil universe, Finn Cooley was a former IRA bomber who blew the top half of his face off with a botched bomb, leaving him with a skull-like look. While he doesn't have that appearance in a TV show, the Punisher blasting his features off with a shotgun seems to reference his original disfigurement. In the original Punisher comic, Frank Castle managed his one-man vendetta from a high-tech battle van kitted out for the murderous vigilante on the move. This slightly less impressive camper is a nod to those original wheels. This article was corroborated by multiple sources. The New York Bulletin's framed front pages reference varied events in the Marvel Universe. The Cybertech Settles headline is another Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. reference. Mr. Tower. I wish you'd called, I'd have set something up. Assistant DA Blake Tower is a far more prominent character in Luke Cage and Iron Fist's universe, both upcoming Netflix shows suggesting we might see more of him later. A long time ago, before he died, my father did business with the Roxxon Corporation. Roxxon? The Roxxon Energy Corporation, infiltrated by Daredevil and Elektra, is a third Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. reference and has also appeared in Agent Carter and Iron Man. Not bad, Maggie. When Elektra says Not Bad Magoo to Matt is a reference to Mr. Magoo, a blind cartoon character and usually Spider-Man's nickname for Daredevil. A hilarious in-joke because Peter Parker knows Matt's secret identity and disability. How is the progress regarding my appeal, Mr. Donovan? Wilson Fisk's lawyer, Benjamin Donovan, is another Luke Cage character making an appearance in Daredevil. Hey, Foggy. You said cell block D. Both the Punisher and Kingpin are located in cell block D, referencing where Alcatraz housed its worst inmates. Speak her name again! Mm -hmm. Go ahead! When Kingpin beats Matt Murdock's head on the table and promises to destroy him, it's a reference to the comic Born Again, where he does just that. There's also mention of a policeman called Nick Manolis who plays an important part in that arc. How does Hogarth, Chow, Benowitz, and Nelson sound? Jerry Hogarth is Jessica Jones' stern lawyer friend and has links to Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage. You're done, Nobu. Your army will crumble. And you will leave my city alone. Your city belongs to no one. Nobu has taken on key characteristics of a Daredevil character called Kirigi. Namely his resurrection after dying in season one, use of the Kyotseku Shoge, which is a knife on a chain, and his eventual decapitation. Always here, but rarely recognized. 
When we see Frank packing up and getting ready to leave, he removes a CD with Micro written on it. That references Microchip, the Punisher's longtime tech-building former ally turned enemy. Electra's burial gown is the closest she gets to wearing her classic red outfit from the comics. There are at least two mentions of the Punisher's killing spree turning the city into a war zone, referencing one of the character's more famous 90s comic runs. That's it for the best 23 Easter eggs we found in the second season of Daredevil. If you've seen anything else, let us know in the comments and subscribe for more entertainment and gaming news, reviews and features right here on GR+.